Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's get into your reading Aquarius. Let's see what spirit has for this month remaining of July 2020. Okay. All right, your first card here Aquarius is the Page of Pentacles. Message coming through for you guys. The Six of Swords moving on. And the judgment card. All right. Okay, Aquarius. There may be a message coming through for you guys, perhaps from a person you've been wanting to hear from or you've been trying to communicate. I feel that you guys have been either constantly thinking of them or they have been constantly thinking of you. Um, it could be a person connected to your past. I feel that for some of you guys, it could be like feeling like constantly thinking of them or them coming to mind or even dreaming about them. Um, because if you can see here in this deck, uh, this woman is holding like an energy, an energy ball. It's like a snowflake, right? But it has this lightning around it. It's, it's energy. And I feel that for some of you guys, you guys have been subconsciously connecting with this person that is thinking of you or missing you. Um, on a subconscious level, like I said. So it could be through dreams. It could be that they're constantly on your mind and you just don't understand or can't express why. Um, and the Page of Pentacles does indicate that they've been on your mind constantly. So it could be the desire to want to hear from them. And finally, the message comes through. Now, I do have the Six of Swords. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with the person from far. It could be a person that is not uh, local or in, is not in the city where you're at for others of you it's just the message that's coming through from someone uh, from far um, and with the judgment card again I do see like revisiting or going towards the past to be able to understand your present meaning to be able to either move on from this connection or to have an opportunity a second go it's like uh, for some of you guys timing could have been an issue uh, perhaps there was some type of maturity that needed to happen, whether it was on your side or on the partner side. But I do see that there is in a window of opportunity that's opening up to, like I said, revisit the past or have a second go. Now, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a earth energy, like I said, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. For others of you, it could be air energy, uh, Libra, Gemini. Or this could be your energy as well. And the judgment card could be dealing with. Um, I feel that for most of you guys, it could be dealing with people from the past coming back around, though. Uh, now, for those of you guys that are in a long term committed relationship. Um, I still feel that there's someone that's constantly on your mind, Aquarius, and it may not be your partner um, with the six of swords. It's uh, for some of you guys, you've been kind of trying to figure out where you're at at this point in the relationship. And there is a decision that is going to be made or perhaps for some of you guys, you've already made. I'm going to pull out one more card just to get clarity or some type of. Yeah, OK, so it's definitely a message that you've been waiting for, Aquarius, or some type of communication. We have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Swords is that of clarity. It's that of uh, communication, but it's also a message coming through uh, very clear and concise. And it's like feeling like understanding why this person was constantly on your mind. It could be that you're picking up on their energy because they're so like fixated and thinking of you. Um, I feel for a lot of you guys, it's revisiting the past. It could be because of the planet alignments right now and the retrogrades that we're experiencing. Um, I don't see any negative connotation here um, for those of you guys that are in a long term relationship, other than the fact that you may not understand why a person keeps, you know, crossing your mind and it's not your partner. But I think that for a lot of you guys, it could be a person that you were genuinely very in love with. It could have been your first love for some of you guys. Uh, for others of you, it could just be a relationship where uh you know the the feelings were mutual and it was reciprocated but for for some reason it's almost like life took you guys on two different paths 
Um, and I think that there is either a clearing of that energy and that energy coming back around or being given an opportunity to have a second go at it. Now, let me see what Spirit's final message is here for you guys in regards to this connection. Spirit, what is the final message? Please give me a clear, concise uh, message for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to this situation and love and romance. Now, your card is voice. Yeah, so I definitely see some of you guys getting a phone call for some of you guys. Um, it could even be like running into them accidentally, um, not literally running them over, <laughs> but running into them, like bumping into each other. Uh, whether it be at the store, something very unexpected and you hear that voice. Now, I do want to mention for those of you guys that are currently single and have been single for a while, I feel that for some of you guys, there's almost like this restrictive type of energy where you felt stuck, like you haven't been able to move on or like you haven't met, you know, had any opportunities in regards to love. I see a person coming through for you guys and I feel that you're going to be very connected to them and it has something to do with the voice. So it could be that you're very attracted to their voice. It could be that their voice sounds very familiar and you feel that connection once you guys are able to like really look at each other. It's, it's almost a feeling of like recognizing them even though you've never met them. Uh, with the Six of Swords being able to move towards a new beginning. The Judgment card is uh, the conclusion of a cycle and it could be the conclusion of the cycle of being single with the ace of swords having a new opportunity or taking on a new opportunity uh, listen to your intuition i feel that you're definitely being guided towards this new person uh, for a higher purpose it could be very connected on a spiritual level all right my lovelies I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it gives you some type of clarity or insight, and we will see each other soon. Till then, stay blessed.